Hey, this is Scott Hudspeth with Agent Mastermind. So excited to be here with you guys as always and uh, honored to be a part of your lives. Today I got some uh, really fun stuff. Um, I call it fun because I just love this technology stuff and I love finding ways to save time in your day that um, has to do with social media because I know how much social media takes up. It's just an addictive type, um, it's just an addictive type thing that uh, keeps you from doing what you really should do on a money-making activity. So um, I'm going to share with you a couple things that uh, I think are important. A couple things you're going to need today. Buffer, I'm going to go through Buffer. Don't, don't go there now. Uh, Pablo is part of Buffer, which I'm just in love with. I'm going to show you that. And then Feedly is a place to find tons and tons and tons of content that's going out there. It's kind of like I guess the best way to explain it is my newspaper. So it's my newspaper, but the best part about it is it's uh, it's up to date newspaper. Like it's current, it's stuff that's happening right now. And then of course you're going to want the Buffer phone app, which I'm going to cover today. So I uh, just want to make sure everybody can see my screen and you can um, hear my voice. Okay, if you can uh, comment on the questions box down there, and of course we'll answer any questions you might have to um, uh, as we go along here. So sound good? All right, good here. All right. So, um, like, connection, and follow. So when we talk about social media, we talk about Facebook and LinkedIn. Those are going to be my two big ones today. I'm going to talk a little bit about Twitter. I don't know that, um, I don't, you know, maybe I can get the input from everybody here. If you're using Twitter, um, we'll do a Twitter class. I know there's a couple people that do use Twitter. I just, um, and I guess they're, I guess I've heard Twitter is going to uh, unlimited wording now, so it's not going to be, uh, you know, more than just, what is it, 140 characters. But, what does just one of these mean to your business? Absolutely nothing if you're not engaging and interacting with your clients. So if you're just putting stuff out there, if you're just throwing it out there, it's kind of like throwing a advertisement out there, somebody calls your phone and then nobody answers. So it's kind of useless to be on social media if you're not engaging and interacting with people. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, I'm going to show you why you should do that and I'm going to show you more importantly why you should have somebody else doing it for you because it's not really money-making activity, but it needs to be done. So if you don't have anybody doing it, you're going to have to do it for yourself. I'm going to show you how to free up some time to do that on all the social networks. And then, of course, I would highly recommend you delegate this out once I show you how to do it and somebody else can log in as you for you to make this happen. So get this. The average Facebook user has 245 friends, but the average friend on Facebook Get this, Vicky, has 355 friends. Isn't that crazy? And that's not me just pulling it. That's not me doing the rectal method, pulling it out of there. Um, it's, <laughs> it's truly from Pew Center's Internet and American Life Project. So um, get this. Wow. The average American knows 355 more people than she has. I don't know why they put she, but they have on Facebook. So um, that's cool. Um, get this. So have you, have you made um, – and I don't know what I put make. So here's what you need to do. Make a list of everyone you know that knows, likes, and trusts you um, that you have ever talked to or worked with. You should absolutely positively find ways, whether you work with them or not, to get their cell phone number and their email address. Um, and there's many different reasons why you should always be doing that. So just when you talk to them, by just having a conversation, one, you should have their their, their phone number, but... More importantly, make sure it's their cell phone number that they're calling from so you can text them, you can uh, communicate with them by text, not just by phone. Because if they call you from work, it's much harder to reach them and communicate with them. You can't text them. So just a, just a little thought there. Friend connect or follow them on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. Um, do you have something on your checklist when you meet somebody to either you do it or somebody else go to Facebook, friend them, go to LinkedIn, connect with them, go to Twitter and follow them? Uh, reached out to them on a monthly basis. So we talked at the marketing in your database class we did at the first of the year. Email, um, you know, you email, you connect with them on Facebook, you do handwritten postcards, you uh, connect with them on LinkedIn, you text them, you tweet them. A little secret that I found out, if you're getting leads from any source out there, it doesn't matter what source, we're finding, and this is maybe not a secret to most of you, we're finding that texting them first is having a better response than it is calling them. Because they know if they're online, 
and they see an unfamiliar number, they see anything unfamiliar come through their phone. Maybe it's uh, maybe they have it so it's it doesn't even show the number. People won't answer. They only like to talk to people they know, like, and trust. That's just the way of the age it is. I don't answer it if I don't know who it is and it's coming from somewhere else. I just most of the time don't answer it unless I'm expecting a call from somewhere. Does that make sense? Yeah, that's um, perfect. So, so texting them that's non-threatening, they're able to respond to you. So I'm just kind of th- I'm going on little tangents here, but texting somebody from a lead coming in, and I'm, I'm not saying never to call them, but start the relationship by texting. And if they respond, you can, you know, like, hey, I see you text on information on 123 Test Drive. Um, how can I help you? Or what, would you like some more information? Start the conversation. Um, then you can, you can start it instead of just hoping to call them and get the voice, you know, get a voicemail, which we always do. So we're having better response texting, just saying. So get this. Uh, everybody knows the most used social media site is Facebook. No secrets there. Twitter's up there and then LinkedIn. This is a couple years old. I don't know what the new stat is, but I know Facebook is doing some amazingly, really cool things that um, it, it's just, it's growing and growing and growing. LinkedIn is more for your resume and what you really are doing as, you know, in your employment, what you, who, who you've connected with as far as business-wise. Um, it's an amazing it's site groups. that we do a lot with. It's yeah. more groups, yeah, yep. Yeah. It's more We're going groups. to talk about mm-hmm. the groups too. Thanks for bringing that up. Yep. So LinkedIn's more groups, which which you should be a part of. You can be a, a part of fifty right. groups. Um, blogs. We're going to go into that. I'm going to show you that a little bit. YouTube. I can't. You know, YouTube is huge. If you're not doing video marketing, that should be a part of your part of your deal. We're going to show you how to include that into this. Um, and then I'm going to really stop right there because that's Google Plus is. I don't know. It's, I'm not a big fan of it. I don't. I mean, I have it, but I don't use it. So. If you do, great. Maybe we should have a class on Google Plus on how to benefit from Google Plus. If anybody out there knows anybody that is a big guru on Google Plus and why we should use that, I'd love to talk to them. Right. I find that Google Plus, yeah. Scott, Google Plus is a, mm-hmm. is a really good um, blogging platform to get Google, Gmail, that kind of stuff exposure. Or not Gmail, but okay, Google perfect. exposure. That's perfect. really the only reason. Okay, cool. Although, yeah, so maybe we should do some research on that on how to use Google Plus as a real estate agent. That'd be good. Um, mm-hmm. So setting some goals. So let's set some goals of why we're doing this. So what are you trying to accomplish and why? So we're, our goal here is to connect, engage, and interact with your past clients, their friends, their family, and their coworkers. I want to stop for a second there. Every person you meet, engage with, interact with, you have to think about this. Remember this. They have 355 friends on average that you don't know yet. So if you're just treating it as a listing, as a buyer, and you're not, then you don't have a follow-up system in place. You don't have a, a checklist to friend them on Facebook, like them on, you know, connect with them on LinkedIn, follow them on Twitter, maybe Pinterest, maybe there's, uh, you know, now there's Snapchat, like Snapchat's going crazy. Um, it's slowly moving into the older crowd. I got my friends that are Snapchatting me now. It's just, it's just crazy how this stuff works. So, if I want to connect with my, my kids who are 19 and 20, my daughter's going to be 21 in May, she's going to be buying a house in the next couple of years. That's how she communicates. It's insane, right? Um, right. So connect, so connect, engage, and interact with your friends and family. The last thing I want is for you to go to a family reunion and have some, one of your family say, hey, I just bought a house. I'm so excited. And you didn't know about it. And you are in real estate. It's the, it's, the, it's the worst thing that could happen, right? They forget. I don't, it's just weird how people just don't think about it. They have friends. They think they want to help their friends out when they're instead they would. <laughs> it would be better if they helped their family. So, build deep relationships with those that know, like, and trust you. Um, block out ten minutes a day. I want to show you why this is so exciting for me. Delegate and then delegate it out. Highly recommended. Or do what I'm about to show you if you can't delegate it out to somebody. Uh, must be on your calendar. I every. I, I can't say every. Ninety ninety percent of the people I talk to. Today, like if I was to talk to you today or I was to talk to uh, most people, they don't have anything on their calendar that is money-making activities. They just go by reaction mode. Whatever happens is what I'm going to do. I don't really know what I'm going to do today. I don't know who I'm going to talk to. I don't know who I'm going to send handwritten postcards to. I don't even have it on my calendar to do that. If it's not on your calendar, this isn't going to happen. I don't care how good you are. Something's going to take precedence over what should be done to grow your business to the next level. So, so making sure every, everything that you do, you you live 100% by your calendar. So oh, you know it because you have access to it. Sarah has access yep. to it. 
Everybody, I mean, I literally have a link that if you want to spend time with me or on the phone, you go to this link and book a time. Like, I, I can't, I can't remember all this. Like, it's physically impossible. If I'm going to do money making activity, it has to be on my calendar, no matter what it is. If I'm going to do anything, pick up milk on the way home for my wife. It's got to be on my calendar. I don't remember it. It's just too many things going on coming at me from social media, from texts, from phone calls, from if I'm going to grow, I, 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 you have to be organized, so it has to be on your calendar. Also, one other calendar thing, when you schedule an appointment, this is so, so important. When you schedule an appointment with somebody and say, hey, I'm going to meet you tonight at 7 o'clock at 123 Test Drive, great. What's your email so I can send you a calendar invite? Now you have their email. You already have their phone. Make sure it's their cell phone. Send them a calendar invite so that they have to accept, okay? And I don't have this in my presentation, but there's an app called App22. Actually, actually App Toto, A P P T O T O, that will automatically send them an email reminder a day before or a, a, an hour before or two hours before you set it up. And it'll also send them a text reminder that they have to confirm. And here's the best part about it. If they confirm, it puts it in your calendar. It says confirmed. If they, um, if they deny it, then say they'll put a little note saying, I have to reschedule. They have to physically respond to confirm to the text because the text asks them to confirm. So your show-ups are going to be more, it, it's just going to happen more. I hear a lot of people go, man, I, you know, people aren't showing up. Well, did you, one, confirm, two, did you, did you make sure that you sent them a calendar invite and did they confirm it, right? Right. So app toto app toto a p p t o t o dot com. It's uh, I believe twenty nine dollars a month for the paid version to have the automatic thing. You literally set the automatic when you put it in your calendar. You put their name, their email address, and phone number in there. It automatically grabs it and sends accordingly how you set it up. So just spend a little time on that. It's it, it's it does me wonders. Uh, build your brand and notoriety. Um, that's what this is going to do. So you know, so build your database daily, generate leads, and then create buzz. Okay. Uh, so prepping for your new routine, you, uh, like, okay, what are we going to do? How are we going to do this? Is it set up so that when somebody does see me on Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, Facebook group, Facebook personal, face, I mean, all this stuff, when people go there, what do they see? It's amazing when somebody tries to request to get added to the Agent Mastermind private Facebook group, and it doesn't say anywhere in their profile that they're a real estate agent. It's just, it's just, right. it's, 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 it's like, okay, if I was to Google you and see, okay, here's who I'm looking for, but I clicked on their profile and it doesn't say anywhere, any way, shape, or form that they're a real estate agent, how do I know that that's actually them? So if that isn't showing up on all of your profiles everywhere, um, it needs to be. You need to change that today. You need to, right after this class, go in there and make sure that somewhere, shape, or form, it's showing that you're a real estate agent. So when people find you, they go, oh, I'm thinking about buying or I'm thinking about selling or, oh, that's a friend of a friend. Because you know Facebook shows who you're connected with. I don't know how many times people go, hey, oh, my God, I can't believe we have seven mutual friends or 15 mutual friends or 25 mutual friends. And I'm like, isn't it a small world? So it, it shows that, but they have to know who you are and what you do for a living. When setting up your network, include your photo and logo, not your high school logo or your high school photo. It's kind of funny how these, some of these photos are back from, you know, 20 years ago. They got, like... Put it today. Go get one professionally taken and get it done. That's how you look. That's who you are. You don't have a problem walking into a grocery store like that. So put it out there. You want people to recognize you when you show up. Links back to your website. Link to your other social media sites if available. Content about you and your company and about you filled out in detail. Ask or have your assistants and partners do the same thing. So if you have a brand, your assistant and your partners that you work with should have the same exact thing going back to your website, back to your profiles. They should have, like Vicky on her email address says, you know, she has stuff about me so that we build that together, okay? Right. All right, so um, to get some ideas, this is a really cool phone app. I wanted to throw this out there. It's called Status Shuffle for Facebook. Really cool app with tons and tons and tons, like you could literally spend an hour going through and finding um, – finding different things to post. I'm not saying post anything from here. I'm just saying it'll give you ideas if you're looking for ideas to, of what to post. All right. Um, so four ways people can connect with you. I, and I, I want to share a couple of these things and then we'll get into why we're here in the system that I want to show you that's really cool. So you can have a wall post. You can have comments, likes, shares, private messages, which uh, that's becoming bigger and bigger. Um, call them using Facebook. Somebody called me the other day and goes, hey, I accidentally hit the call button on Facebook. Did you know that you can call people on Facebook? You know that, Vicky? Yeah, that that pretty cool. It happened to me before too. Yeah, it's kind of like a shock. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, new and exciting with iPhone and iPads, it'll be soon be with Droids, but you can go live. I think you've seen a couple, of, if you follow me, you've seen a couple of my mm -hmm. videos, uh, my live yep, things. Live stream. Uh, we're, yep. Yep, live stream. It's, it's just amazing. So what it does is, and I did not grab a picture of that, and I will post that below. So when you go into your Facebook on your phone, if you have an iPhone, and you click on status, you click on the status button, and there's a little button right next to the where you're at, and it's got a, a body with, with circles around it. If you click that, that's how you go live. And what it does is it goes live on your timeline, and it records whatever you're doing. So if you're at an open house and you want to go live at this open house, everybody will see that you're at one at this open house because you would call it open house. You would give it a name, open house at 123 Test Drive. Yeah. And you would walk through the house going, hey, I just want to show you guys this open house I'm hanging out at today. And maybe walk through the whole house. And then what it does is it actually goes, I mean, people can see you. They can comment. They can ask questions. They can whatever. But it records it and then puts it on your timeline when it's all done. So it stays there. Pretty cool. That is so cool. Hey, we got awesome? a couple comments. That, that is. I, that's perfect. You should probably give us some more ideas how we can use live stream. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. What of what of the someone had mentioned that they're not seeing any visuals on the screen. Is everyone seeing I'm I'm seeing your screen great, but I just wanted to okay. make sure Okay. All right. Comments. What was that app? Uh the app was uh, app two two A P P T O T O. So if you're not seeing my screen, the only thing I can recommend is maybe log out and try to log back in. That's the only thing I can yeah. recommend. Um so, okay. cool, cool, cool. All right, so here's a little, so when you go into uh, private message somebody, you'll notice this little phone, and <laughs> it's so fun. Just, just tr try calling people from that. So if there's a phone there, that means that she has put a phone number in her profile, and it'll ring, and she'll answer it, and she won't know who it is, and it's through Facebook. It's pretty cool. It's kind of fun. All right? Okay, so uh, important settings. Here's something I want to highly recommend, highly, highly, highly recommend, is to make sure that you have this on. And when I say on, when somebody tags you in a photo or a post, you want to be able to approve it. You don't want someone putting you at a situation that you weren't at by accident or on purpose. Um, so here's what it is. Re um, so you want to go to uh, your, your privacy settings. Click the little thing, click the little arrow, and then click settings, and then go to timeline and tagging. And then the very first one, or the very second one says review post, friends tag you in before they appear on your timeline. You want to click the edit button. Oh, so here's, here's where it starts. So click settings, account settings, or the drop down arrow. Uh, and then go to on, timeline, and then click edit, and make sure you turn that on. So anytime someone tags you, uh, you have to approve it so you don't have anything bad being posted on your timelines. It's, it's just crazy how people try to do that stuff. You'll get a lot of spammers that will um, try to post up in, in, in like shoes or glasses or just not stuff you want to approve. And then all you do is deny it and it doesn't go, doesn't go on your timeline. So I highly recommend that. The more you do of this stuff I'm going to show you, the more activity you're going to get and the more exposure you're going to get and the more celebrity status you're going to get. You don't want to be hit by one of those people and just look stupid at any point in time with somebody posting something you don't want there. All right? Cool. All right, so danger, don't post too much. I see, um, you know, and I don't see this too much, but, you know, don't go crazy because I'm going to give you some really good ideas on how to literally load up and post five times a day if you want to automatically. Or you could sit here, here's the best part, you could sit here today and literally rack up the next week of post and then just dial it in and never go back there and see it again. Of course, I wouldn't recommend that. You always want to interact and engage, but you can, I'm going to show you how to time, time stamp stuff that goes out later on in the week, okay? So 1% to 2% business. Only talk one to two percent business. I, I, I'm not. I mean, if you're gonna do it, maybe do something cool like at an open house, or maybe you're at a listing presentation tonight. Go live. Ask the people you're with. Hey, you care if I go live and just kind of show this house, and you guys can get in here and uh, have a little fun with this Facebook stuff. Go live with something like that. Um, maybe you're That's another maybe great you, idea. Maybe you as a group, as a company, I know a lot of companies like on Tuesdays they go on this uh, open house and they all jump in a bus and go look at all the new listings and everybody gets to see each other's listings. Another great way as a group, as a team to go live and have some fun with it. It's something you would be doing that nobody else is doing on planet Earth. It's just really cool and a lot of fun. All right? Um, 98%, not 98 to 98% 90, cool stuff. So always be thinking about that. And I'm going to give you so many ideas of what to post. So best practices for Facebook suggest one to two posts per day at the most, morning and late afternoon. The, um, the actual the system I'm going to show you recommends the best time to do it. Um, and you can set it up so it posts at that time and it's done. 
Uh, LinkedIn, get this. So profile, make sure it's dialed in. Groups, you can uh, be, be uh, included in 50 groups. So I want to show you how to find the groups. So if you, this little link right here is linkedin.com forward slash directory forward slash groups. And um, this is what shows up. So you, uh, how to get there is you go to interest groups. So if you're logged into LinkedIn, see how I'm logged into LinkedIn, interest in groups. And then the next one you're going to see discover, and then that's going to show you all these groups, and it goes on and on and on and on. Um, this, this link right here is the directory of all the groups, and there's literally hundreds if not thousands of them. Um, it's pretty crazy. So check that out. Find something local that you could be a part of just to interact, grow. There's, um, you just never know who you're going to meet. And if you're consistently posting stuff there, your profile set up correctly with who you are and what you do for a living, and you're one to two percent of the time doing something cool that has to do with real estate, you're gonna build relationships. It's just how it works. So that's what I'm gonna show you. All right. Um, Katie Katie Lance has been out with us before, and she she had five tips: be consistent, persistent, have a content strategy, never forget real estate is local, dip your toe into more than one system, and then find a way to measure the success of your efforts. So. Um, and we we all know building a database is like key number one. We're not in the real estate. We're not in the mortgage industry. We're in the marketing to our database business. That's what this is all about. So here's my little secret, and we're going to have some fun with this. So my little secret is called Buffer, okay? I used to really like Hootsuite. Some of you guys might be using Hootsuite, and I'm going to probably – you're going to probably be mad at me if you use Hootsuite right now because this has some other cool features that – I like better than Hootsuite. Hootsuite's uh, got to catch up a little bit. They're, they're lacking a couple things that I think is important, and I'm going to show you why. Check this out. So um, don't do it now. Pay attention. I'm going to show you some really cool stuff so you can save some time when you do go check this out. But Buffer is a uh, posting. Well, it's a better way to share on social media for free, and you can actually use the system for free. Check this out. So to sign up, go to uh, sign in with Twitter, sign in with Facebook, sign in with your LinkedIn, or – just put in your email address and password and create an account, and it'll send you a confirmation. You've, it's just done. It's that easy. Um, the next thing you're going to see is connect your first social account. So you're going to click on Facebook. Uh, this is going to open up. It's going to have all of your pages and groups and whoops, uh, and all your profiles. So you're just going to pick one. Now, one thing that I did is um, it kind of, I don't know why, but it hides your profile. So to find it, you're going to have to scroll down. To, you'd notice that I have all these pages and groups, and my profile was actually below this, so that's why I took another picture. Um, but get this. For $10, I think it's $15 a month unless you pay for the whole year. $15 a month, you can literally connect to 100 different pages and profiles, 100. So if you, have, if you built, a, if you built a, um, a Facebook page for each one of your listings and you have a hundred listings over the period of time and you're building that up and you're doing different things. You could literally post one, you can one click to post to all of them at one time. How cool would that be, right? That's great. Yeah. You guys, you guys follow me on that? So if I wanted to connect on this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, like all of these, I could connect on all of them. So I just chose my profile. I'm going to show you my profile for Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. Um, so you're just going to have to look for it. It's kind of funny. I had to like, where is my profile? I know it's here. I can't got to find it. So it's, they hide it in there and it just says profile. So you want to click that. Um, then you're going to come back to here and it's going to, you're going to connect with your LinkedIn, same with your Twitter. Um, if you want to just skip it for now, you can do that and add it later. It doesn't hurt you if you skip it. I would highly recommend just doing it now. Um, let you get your post scheduled. So this is, make sure that you, uh, it's going to put in probably a weird time zone. So just delete this and put in wherever you live. I put in Detroit because I know that that's like the – so if you're in uh, wherever you're at, make sure that it's central time zone or eastern time zone or, west or you know, um, mountain or Pacific, whatever it is. Make sure you have the right time zone so that when you tell it to post, it posts at that correct time because that correct time is important. For example, first thing in the morning, 6 a.m., 6.30 p.m. or 6.30 a.m. is really a, a, a big deal because that's when everybody's getting up and checking their profiles and liking this and liking that, and you'll notice – all the likes start to die down after, um, after about 8 o'clock when people get to work. And then it picks up again when? 6, 6.30 after dinner. People jump back on. They're watching TV. They're on their, iPo they're on their iPad. They're on their iPhone. Likes start to pick back up. You know, comments start to pick up, all that stuff. So why post you know, at 2 o'clock in the afternoon when you could have a bigger bang for your buck or a bigger bang of benefit at 6.30 p.m.? As bad as you want to share something with somebody, for example, maybe you had a closing today at 2 o'clock and you're like, I want to show this testimonial and congratulate the Smith family. 
I would recommend doing it at 6.30 p.m. so more people have a chance to see it because they're sitting there watching their timeline. Make sense? Makes sense, yep. All right. All right, select the scheduling option. So I would, here's what I would do is I would find my optimal times. So I would click this. You could set it manually if you want, but I would find my optimal times because it actually goes in in your time zone and says from all the different posts, from all the different social media sites, it said here's the optimal time and here's what, here's what it shows. Um, actually, I didn't take a picture of that, but it will actually say here's the, times, here's the times that we recommend posting, and then it will set them up for you depending on how many times you say you want to post per day. I post twice per day um, using the system. Sometimes it's just once a day. Sometimes I turn it off and don't, don't have anything in the system buffered to go out, and I do it manually. So it, it doesn't mean that you just use this. This is just a way to set it up and post to all the social media sites with one, with one click. Here's what it looks like in the time zone. So you'll see I have my Twitter account here. I have my Facebook, I have my LinkedIn, and then I have my time. So 6.38 a.m. and 6.23 p.m. is when I post. When I put something in here, and I only do it Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I skip Tuesday and Thursdays. That's just my opinion. It doesn't matter. It doesn't, there's no right or wrong. Uh, uh, if you're posting value, you can't post too much. If you're having fun with it, like today I posted something about other, I always try to make it about other people. Um, but if you're doing testimonials and you've got a closing a day, shoot, man, post a close, yeah. post, a, post a congratulations, everything. If you have two closings today, post one in the, you know, post one tonight at 6.30 and post one tomorrow morning at 6.30 a.m., you know, get the biggest Absolutely. exposure you possibly can, all right? All right. All right, so optimal, so here's when you, when you get to this point, it's going to say, hey, Scott, how many times you want to post per day, you know, and it, it defaults to five, so I would, if, depending on how many times you, and you can change this later, it's not a, not a given. You don't have to do it. If you say five, it's not going to, you can delete those times. All right. And then your optimal schedule, I guess I did take a picture. So here's your optimal. It says 4 a.m. just after four, between four and, you know, and then down here after it gets closer to 8 a.m. it goes down. So the earlier, the better. Um, and then in the afternoon, again, it goes back up. So 12, 12 to see, this is 8 a.m., 12 p.m., 8 p.m. So it goes back up and then it goes back up around midnight. So Five optimal times. So it's showing you one, two, three, four, five is what it's trying to show you here. If you put in two, it's going to show you the optimal times for two. All right. I wouldn't recommend five unless you have some really good stuff you're posting. It gets a little overwhelming. So how many people are you clicking? This tracks your clicks on your post, even though if they don't comment, which is pretty cool. That's pretty nice, right? I, I wouldn't get hung yeah. up on this. Um, I wouldn't go, oh my God, Scott, I only got three clicks. That's terrible. Yeah, but it's three more clicks than you would have got if you didn't post anything, right? Right. Yep. All right. Makes All right. Sense. And your buffer account's ready to go. So let's go to the dashboard. So um, you just click out of this. It says introducing respond by buffer. No need. You don't need this right now. Um, it's it's not a big deal. It's for Twitter. It's kind of more of a um, the way I understand it. It's more of a service oriented like a customer service type platform for Twitter. All right. So not a big deal. All right. So and then if you want to upgrade to what, what they <laughs> they kind of kind of they kind of get you on the wording so that you have this thing, upgrade to awesome. Like who doesn't want to be awesome, mm -hmm. right? So they kind of get right. you like, oh, I want to be awesome. So it's 10 bucks a month if you pay for the whole year. It's 15 bucks a month if you do it monthly. Um, so by upgrading, I wanted to show you this, you get uh, connect RSS feeds through Buffer. You get 100 posts. Uh, your current plan is 10. And then you're, you get 10 social profiles. Your current plan is five. So you get five, for, uh, no more nagging, up to 100 posts and tweets to your buffers. Um, so you could, I, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, you can have up to 100 programmed in, which is pretty crazy, and then as they fall off, you can add more, which is nuts. You would never use 100. Um, compared to, what was it, 10. So I can have 10 buffered posts, so which means if I do two a day, I can have five days in advance, all right, because I can schedule them out. Make sense? Right. If you, do, yep. if you do five a day, you could have two days ahead, all right? And again, if somebody else is doing this, you don't even need this. Have somebody else find something to post and post it in all the social media sites, whatever. All right, Feedly. I love, love, love Feedly. So Feedly is a place to find un, just an ungodly amount of anything you want. And here's the different things. Uh, tech. I'm a big tech person. I have all of the, the ones I like chosen. There's some, there's a marketing content, design, business, food, news, fashion, startups, photography, uh, baking, gaming. So let me just show you how, I'll show you how this works in just a second. I'll show you how all this ties in. Um, but 
and and you're gonna yeah. So I'll just keep going here. Another one that's included inside Buffer is Pablo in in Buffer. Um, this is so cool. I'm gonna show you this in just a second. It's included in Buffer, so um, it's it's there's no extra cost for the free version to have this. It's just an added benefit. It's really cool. I'm gonna show you this. I love it big time. Um, there's some Chrome extensions that you're gonna want to add, and I'll show you that when I go live here in just a second. So if you use Chrome, which I do. The buffer sits right there in your window. It's really easy to post something. And then Pablo also sits right there in your timeline or of your Chrome extension that you can go right to Pablo and get a picture, upload a picture, all kinds of really cool stuff to make it yours, put quotes in it, make the picture your own. There's some really cool stuff you can do here. All right, you're gonna, I'm giving you some of my best secrets of how I get some of these pics with my own words on it. And you're like, man, where does Scott get that pic? Now I'm showing you because it's some really cool stuff, okay? I'm not gonna give you all my secrets though. So here's the phone app. Yeah, I can't, I can't give them all to you today. So, um, so here's the phone app. So I took, so the reason I like Buffer over Hootsuite is in their phone app, you can upload as many pictures as you want at right, at, right in one shot. You just pick, pick, pick. So, and here's the cool part in your phone app. So it's just, you know, you're going, Scott, how do I, like, I, I already go to Facebook and I click this button and I post the status or I, I go to tweet, I go to tweet this out or I go to LinkedIn, I do this. Well, Here's the cool part. It's just a different button on your phone. So if I click the buffer button on my phone, this comes up and it has tweet, Twitter, picked, Facebook picked, and LinkedIn picked. I can uncheck any of these or I can just leave them checked. I would highly recommend leaving everything checked. Just put your stuff out there, especially if it's cool stuff. Upload the pictures you want. Say what you want to say. And, um, and go with it. Instead of just going to Facebook and putting it out there, build your brand on other social media sites. And that's what's so cool about this Buffer app, okay? This is a little five iPhone holder, iPhone 6 Plus holder that I can put on a tripod. So if I want to go live and have it on a tripod at somewhere, I can put it on a tripod. And this is an iPad holder that allows you to put it on a tripod that holds your iPod so you can actually, or your iPad, so you can go live and, and have it like a camera. So it's pretty cool stuff. I'm pretty excited about that. All right, so let's go live and I'll show you some, uh, show you some of this stuff. So, all right, so here we are inside Buffer. Get this. So I'm gonna, so here's my, my three social media sites. If I wanna add more, I just go here. If I wanna add groups if, in LinkedIn, if I wanna add pages in Facebook, if I wanna add groups in Facebook, whatever I wanna add, I would just click this and then I would choose Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Google Plus, or Pinterest. I can connect any or all of these, depending on if you're, if you're paying for, uh, the, if, if, you're, if you have the free version, you have five different social networks. So I could have Twitter, Facebook profile, LinkedIn profile, Google Plus profile, and, and Pinterest profile. And I could literally post either online here on my website, or on my computer, or my phone to all five of those social websites with one click, okay? Pretty cool. Um, that is just like awesome. Yeah. Isn't that, awesome? that is yeah. That is just yeah, it's time. It's like a, this is changing. So this is great. It's, it's life changing. Yeah. And yeah. not only that, it's, I mean, think about if you wanted to do all five of these and you wanted to have the same thing go there, you would have to log in, log out, click the button, click this button, yeah. click that button, click that button, and you just got to go go go. Um this just streamlines all of it. So let's go back to the dashboard. Here's your dashboard. Here's your content. So if I want to post these three things right here, I, literally, it's sitting right here. So I want. What do you want to share? Um, I can upload a photo or a video that I have on my, uh, online, right? Click on that. Okay. It goes right to my thing, and it goes and pulls in. If I want to pull in a video, it pulls it in, um, or that's a photo. If I want to say whatever I want to say, and if I want it longer than what t uh, Twitter will allow me right now, I just un 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 uncheck Twitter, and then I go to Facebook and LinkedIn and say what I want to say. Okay. Here's where it gets fun with the Pablo is create an image. Check this out, guys. Right inside here, I create an image, and it opens up to Pablo, and I choose a picture, whatever picture I like, and, and here's the, there's 50,000 images. So say I want to have a house image. I go, I just click house, click the little search button, and houses come up. Maybe not the one I like. Maybe there's one I like. Maybe I put home. So whatever I want to uh, search is what I'm going to pull up. So there's the snowy one for me in Michigan here. That's what it looks like today right outside my window. If you want to look, I'll show you. Here's a cool picture of a home, all right? Um, the cool part about this is I can keep what this says here. I can double-click on it and change what this says here. I can blur it out if I want to, the background. I can make it black and white if I want to. I can change what this says and get other recommended posts by just clicking this little arrow right here. 
See this? So I can change a person. Yep. yep, that's his quotes. The person is, so I just keep, keep going through this as much as I want. If I want to add a secondary text, I just click this, and then it gives me another smaller headline header there. Um, if I want to do a custom logo, I pull that up. If I want to do a tall version, uh, ideal for Pinterest, I just click that. If I want to do a square version, which is good for Instagram, I just do that. If I want to do a wide version, which is the best for Facebook, I want to do that. If I want to upload my own image, I can do that. Go in here, upload my own image, and nothing changes. It has this, and if I want to reposition it, I can zoom in, zoom out, uh, however I want to do it there, depending on the size of the photo. I can bring it down a little bit so you can see the whole line there. Done, and now it's positioned accordingly, and now I have my photo with whatever I want to put inside of it. Is this cool? Yeah, that's great. Um, isn't that awesome? So here's the other part. If you want to share your, um, you know, of course, share your image, you can share it from right here. Uh, and, and if you want to share it on Buffer, you can, you know, buffer your image. So if I want to buffer it, which means schedule a time for it to go out or throw it in my, my, um, my time schedule. So the next time for my buffer to go out is 638 tonight. So if I click on the buffer app, it's going to buffer it. And in, in, in automatically put it inside here. So the best thing I did was choose the right hero. So Warren Buffett. And then for Facebook, I just got to copy the same thing. They make yep. you uh, they make you copy the same thing down here. And then add to queue, right here. Add to queue. Or my other choices are share next, which means after 6:30, after my 6:30 one goes out, my next one would be 6:30 tomorrow morning. It would it, this would go out after the next one. Uh, or share now or schedule a post. So if I want to schedule it, I just click it open. I go, I want to share this Friday, and I want to share it at 4.30 p.m. Schedule. Boom. Done. Great. Is that cool? Isn't that nice? Yeah. All right. So um, here's the other cool thing. If you say you're in Google, this is so fun, too. So I guess you want to get excited about this stuff. It's pretty yeah, cool stuff. I so I go see. to Google. Yeah. And say I want to search... Um, Excited. All right, so I search excited. I click on images, and I want I want to share just that I'm excited about something or whatever. So I click on this photo. I right click on it, and guess what's in my choices? Buffer. Buffer this image. Oh, Oops. that's great. Buffer this image, or where's it at? Is it not there? Oh, yes. So the next, the the, the other option is open image in Pablo. Because I've added it to my Chrome extensions. So I want yeah. to take and add a something little to this. So open image in Pablo. So it, whoops, it didn't work. All right, let me try it again. Open image in Pablo. All right, for some reason it's not working. But that's the whole. So if you find something online, say that you go to something like, oh, I love this picture. I want to share it. Here's an animal photo. Here's this. Here's that. You can just right click, buffer it, uh, buffer this image. So it's going to open up buffer for me going to put the photo in buffer for me. See how it's buffering right now? And then um, for some reason it's not working. So maybe I need to download it and then do it, whatever. So you guys get the idea. If you find something on the web, an article or whatever you want to buffer it, you can do it real easily. Um, the next thing I want to show you before we go, um, before we do any more, is the Feedly. Okay, so I'm logged into, when you log into Feedly, let me just see how I log out of this. Um, more, more. When you log in, it says add an account, and so what you're gonna, what it's gonna do is ask you to log in. And if you have a Gmail, I would use Gmail, and then it saves it. So every time you come back, all this stuff, I added all this stuff. And this is the stuff. This is the cool part. So instead of going, you guys, I don't know if you're familiar with like Lifehacker, um, Mashable, TechCrunch. There's all these different, like you know. So I usually sit there. I used to sit there and go to TechCrunch and I check yeah. out what was there. And then I would go right. to Mashable and check out what was there. And then I would go to Read, you know. So I'd visit all these sites and check it out, but they're all right here and it stays inside here. I don't have to leave. Um, so if I want to add content, say I want to add some business, it goes to all these business sites that post different things on different topics. And uh, it kind of gives you a little Seth, guy, uh, this guy's just awesome. So I want to, I want, I've already added him, but say I want to add VentureBeat. VentureBeat is the leading source of news and perspective on tech innovation. We give context to help it. Um, so if I want to add it, I just click this little plus button. It says add it to tech or marketing, and I would just click add. Now it adds it down here to VentureBeat. It adds it to my tech part. Say I want to add something from... Uh, design. Like Vicky's a huge design person. She wants to see ideas of what people are doing, and I want to add this one. So I just click that one. 
I click design. So now it's going to have its own section for design. So now in design, I have FuzzBuzz, and like I, I start building my platform for content. Here's the cool part. So that's if you want yeah. to, so, isn't that cool? Okay, so this is for con yeah, this is for content. This is something besides content. Uh, quotes and pictures. This is actually another way of posting absolutely. things that are you know, interesting to get yes. articles, stuff like that. Yep. So here's uh, here's um, so inspirational quotes. Okay. So I, so say I go to Google and I Google inspirational quotes. Check this out. Here's literally hundred. Let's see. There is. Uh, does it tell me how many? Does it tell me. Doesn't tell me how many, but there's literally hundreds, if not thousands, of different quotes. Okay. Say that I want. Say that I like this one. All right. I want to put this in Pablo and make it so that. See, look. Check this out, Vic. Share that's image, that. Pablo. Yeah. So I yeah, think really that it should. Cool. Okay. So so it takes that image, puts it right in Pablo. I don't want to. I don't want to um, have any. I don't. I, I, I want the text off because it already says some stuff. Or maybe I want a yeah. secondary part that I want to say something. I want to put Scott Hutchbeth in there or uh, uh, true or your that, logo. right? Yeah, yeah. Or, or your, your yeah, logo whatever you want to put there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can't spell the day. True that, and then it's done. So. Um, oh, that's cool. What, so it's just different things that you can do with different photos. Maybe you know. So there's just so much. There's so many ways to find content, find cool stuff, be inspirational, be positive. A um, couple recommendations. Do not talk politics as hard as it is right now to not talk politics. Um, do not talk politics on social media. Like you can do it in person, no big deal. Do not put it out there because you're going to you're going to literally alienate 50% of your database. Over like in the instant you post, it's just not good stuff. Um, two is don't um, no politics, no religion. Okay. Whether as much as you know, we all have our own faith. We all have all that stuff, but it's just not. You just if your clientele is not that religion, they're going to feel uncomfortable. Like it's just weird how people go there. So don't go there. Okay, um, just a little suggestion there. Let me make sure that I covered everything. So is there any Vic, is there any questions on this stuff? So I guess going back to Buffer, this is such an amazing app. Um, it allows yeah. you to. Okay, so here's the cool part. Say that I want to add to queue or I want to schedule this post. So say that I want to um, uh, Could you also talk relax. about, I mean we talked about Hootsuite. What's the benefit yeah. that Buffer has over Hootsuite? Is it more mobile well, friendly it's, or um, there, easier there's, there's, to there's, use? There's, uh, for me there's less here. Uh, um, and the other, the, ah, the one big thing yeah. for me, the one big thing for me was the phone app. I do most of my posting from my phone. That's just oh. how when, when, I, when I see a photo, when I take a photo, or when I do a video, or when I do something, it's not with my computer. It's with my phone, and I I don't want to with Hoot, with Hootsuite. You can you can add pictures, but it's one, and then I got to go back and add another one, and then add another one, and then another one. Oh. Where with, with with Buffer, I can add ten at the same time if I want to, or I you know. So it's just it's just more user friendly. And there's yeah. just less there, so it's just it's just a really cool thing. Um, Hootsuite does have the scheduling. It's so much easier to schedule this. So if I wanted to schedule a post, I can just you know it's right here. Same with on um, the Buffer app, you can schedule it right from the Buffer app on your phone. It's just more user friendly, I guess, is the way. I, personally, yeah. I like the more user friendly version of it. Um, Hootsuite's an amazing app. It's probably bigger and more users in Hootsuite. Um, I just find this one more user friendly, more easier to use. So. Yep. Here's your analytics. You. Um, here's your schedule. It shows what's scheduled. If you want to add times, add posting times. If you want to add Tuesday, add Thursday. You just click them and add them. Um, if I want to add a posting time, and I would just it, it would throw it out there. Say I want to do um, one at 6:30, and I want to do one at uh, at lunchtime. So I want to do one at 12 p.m. around lunch. I would just put that at 12 p.m. And now I'd be now my time is added. So I got one at 6:30 a.m., one at uh, 12 p.m., and one at 6:23 p.m. So three times a day, three days a week. Mm -hmm. All you want to do. So if you want to um, just post, maybe you just for some reason want to just post to Facebook, you would uncheck the two when you go to do it, and you just go to Facebook instead of Twitter or LinkedIn. If you want them all three, you just click all three, and it's ready to go. Pretty cool. Yeah, it's great. I love yep. the the. Yeah, the live streaming that you can do. I love the um, using Buffer to schedule your post. So if you have closings coming up, you know what's happening that week, right? So absolutely, when you're gonna, absolutely. You're going yeah. to 
reserve that space for a photo op that, that you took a picture of at the closing table and say something nice Correct. about them. You know. Correct. So, yeah. yeah. Absolutely, yeah. And, it's, and, and you can do it right from your phone. That's the cool part is you're not going to be carrying your computer around. You know what I mean? So right from your phone, you right. snap the picture at the closing. You snap a video at your closing. You go to Buffer. You, you, you either schedule it for 6.30 tonight when you're going to get the big – it's as, as bad as you want to do it right now, which it's, you know, it's 12.30, 1 o'clock, it's not the best time to do it. So 6.30 is better. Just go with that because you're going to get more views, which means more clients that might connect with you. Their friend, you got to think about this. Their friends are going to be online around that time more so than they are right now because everybody's at work, right? So you want their friends to see the testimonial. You want to tag them. You want, to, you want their friends to like it, comment on it, congratulations, because guess what? You can actually click on their friends that like it and connect, engage, whatever, and say, hey, hey, you, man, you, uh, your friends are really awesome. I, was, I really enjoyed working with them. Hey, a friend of theirs is a friend of mine, so let me know if there's anything I can do to help you out. Like, that, what's wrong with that? We do that all the time, right? Connect, engage. Like, right. they already trusted you enough to do business with you, to buy a home with you. Why would their friends not have an instant connection with you? And it's amazing the, the response you would have from that if you start doing that with their friends that like the post. All right? That is, that's great. All right. Now, how much time did it normally take you? I mean, if you were a realtor, you know, mm -hmm. and you wanted to set this up, um, how yep. long did it take you to, to learn it? And then what would be a typical time that you would use to actually schedule, say, a week's worth of posting? That's a great idea. So a, gr a great question. So one is to set it up. You can be set up with Buffer in less than 10 minutes today and have right. all your links, like pro probably in about two or three minutes. Second, you need to be open to, you need to start following different people and what they do and how they do it, the stuff that you like. One is make it about other people. It's not about you. We don't want to know where you went to dinner. We don't want to know. Like if, you, if you went to dinner, share that you, man, my family and I had a really great dinner at this pizza place, and, oh, I just want to let you know, kids eat free after 4 o'clock. Make it about other people. Take whatever you're going to post and say, how can I make it about other people? And you're going to go, well, man, Scott, that's hard. I, I just don't think like that. Either did I when I first started, but if you start thinking like that, how can I take what I'm doing right now and make it with some, like make it, Make it about somebody else or for somebody else or how can I encourage people to interact with me? Like, for example, let me show you my post that I did today on Facebook, and I did it from Buffer. And some people, are going, some people probably ask, well, Scott, am I going to get the, the same uh, – being from Buffer, am I going to get the same uh, interaction yeah. or does Buffer change anything? No, because sometimes people think from a third-party posting you don't get as much attention or activity or people don't see it. Well, I posted this three hours ago. This was from Buffer because it says Buffer right there. And you'll notice I have 52 likes and a bunch of comments. So it worked mm -hmm. just fine. But see how I could have said, well, and here's the uh, brutal honesty. When I first posted this, I said, I am the cat. Those dogs are my competition. And then I said, you know what? That was about me. So I deleted it went back and said, you are the cat, and those dogs are your competition. When focused on your 20%, no one can catch you. Believe in yourself, my friends, you can do this. So I made it 100% about them, nothing about me, and I'm giving them the inspiration, the motivation, the positive thought, like you can do anything, that type of thing. Because, that's because I mean, you see the difference? Like, yeah, it's totally yeah. about me. It's self-fulfilling. Huge difference. Huge, and it's great so, that you're sharing that, that – Meat and potatoes, you might want to say. Right. Um, right. Unless people really understand what it is that we're talking about. You know, we're not just glossing Absolutely. over it. The topic. Absolutely. Is so. Here's another yeah. one. Now, what would you do? So, yeah. Yeah. Now, what would you do? Look at this one here. So that that quote there. What would you do now with those people? I mean, if you were, you know, a realtor and you got this kind of con engagement, what would be your mm -hmm. next step? Would you like that they 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 commented, you know, would you send them an instant message? If you wanted you guys to get notice, more like, engagement. You guys notice, yeah, so I always, I always like, yeah, but you guys notice I've already liked all of these. I always engage with everybody. If somebody asks me a question, let me just show you an example. Um, right here. So uh, hopefully Tampa, so I always, like, if somebody kind of says, like, so, like, so, so I said, hopefully Tampa, so I know this, um, Sue, she might be on the call today, was coming, it says, hopefully Tampa will be warm. And so I said, um, there's, so we, 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 are you coming in April? Because we're having an event in April. And I says, yes, I am. So we had, I had a conversation. I interacted with her 
And that's the part of engaging and interacting with your people that if they ask you a question, answer it. Hey, how you doing? If they ask you, hey, how you doing? Hey, great post. How you doing? Answer it. Answer it in the thread where it says reply. And I, I mean, that's part of being engaged in your conversations. Yeah. And it doesn't take that long that's to do great. it. Like, you know, I like this one. No comment. I like you. Know, so depending on what they say, I will interact with them 99% of the time. And I'll just look at what's going on, what they said. And if they ask me a question, I'm going to answer it. It's just like them picking up the phone and calling me and me not answering or never, never calling them back. You can't do that. We had a nice long conversation here and um, it's just, you know, it's just now when we get there, we're going to probably have a conversation about our Facebook post conversation. You know what I mean? So right. it's right. just being, being there, being in the moment. You don't have to be there all the time. It shows up on your left-hand side who commented on what. It says, so it said, Pam liked your comment, um, so 50 people liked. So when it says commented, I always check the ones that say commented on right here. Like this one, it says, so just commented on your photo. So I'm going to go, all right, what did they say? And like, I didn't see this until now. Where the, where, will there be a replay? So I would go, uh, this one, I would say, you bet, get with your loan professional for a copy of the replay, right? So, that, so that's how right. I would interact with this person. Um, so that's how you do it, my friends. That's that's a, oh, one last thing, Vic. Uh, a, little, yeah. a little kicker here for you guys. Um, if you're looking for more content, not that there's enough that I just gave you, so there's this little site that I have. I call it the big surprise. So if you go to budural, budural.com, don't put in www. It, for, it, it doesn't work. So budural.com forward slash the big surprise. Oh, no, it's just big surprise, I think. Let me go look. I got it on my PowerPoint for you. So to get a copy of the PowerPoint. So it's called big surprise, okay? I'm just going to copy okay. and make it easier. So check this out. You guys are going to love this. This is so cool. I have no idea how I found it. I just came across that one day. I'm like, all right, I'm going to keep it. So big surprise. Budyearl.com forward slash big surprise. You see how I put the W in there? Mm -hmm. uh, big surprise. All right. So when you go here, let me just blow this up a little bit. Check this out. This is so cool. All right, so say you want to find a Word doc in relation to home buyer seminar. Say you want to find a PowerPoint. Watch this, home buyer. Oh, wow. So you want to find a PowerPoint on Google that is a PowerPoint that says home buyer seminar. So I'm going to go home buyer seminar search. If I search this, you can search anything you want. So there's, there's rich uh, text form. So you're going to probably stick in the Word format. Here's a PDF. So you want a PDF and whatever. You want an Excel spreadsheet that has this. It searches Google for the PowerPoint. So home buyer seminar. So I'm going to search, and then you'll notice PowerPoint, 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 PowerPoint. Anything that has a PowerPoint that has home buyer seminar in it, and all you do is that home buying, is selling cool. seminar. Isn't that cool? Yeah. So, um, so, I, so I click on it, it downloads it, and you know whether it's any good or not, I don't know, but it's a PowerPoint, so I'm going to check it out. And you, it's and just you a way to find it? other content. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, you, Absolutely. Can, you can edit it and make it your own. Yeah. It could be a listing Correct. presentation or home buying and selling. Be... Yeah. So I could use one. Maybe I'll, maybe I only use one slide from it. You know. Um, sure. Advantages of a realtor. No, uh, knowledgeable about the area. Access to the multiple listing service. So I mean, this is actually a good one, right? You yeah. can act ahead of schedule before arriving in town. Have a listing of homes ready to view. With, like, so there's some good stuff here that I just found online that you would, you would have never found that I don't, even, I don't even really have to do much. I can use this PowerPoint because he put it out there for me. It's, all, it's, it's free content, whether I put my branding on it or his branding. It's, it's, it's just out there. So another way to find content. Right. It. So it, yeah. five year old, that's, whoops, that's you know what? Great. I need to delete that. That's awesome. I need to Thanks for that, sharing. So. That. Uh, Budgeal.com forward slash big surprise for tons of content. If you want a Word doc, yeah. same thing, put in there. Maybe you want a PDF of a um, home buyer flyer, like wh whatever. I mean, it's endless. Like, I, I guarantee you, watch this. We'll finish with this. So I want a PDF version of home buyer sheets. You want to get some ideas? PDF, right? Yeah. Home buyer sheet, PDF, PDF, home fact sheet. Here's a home fact sheet that somebody put up there. Closing cost worksheet. Uh, let's see. Cool there you go. Home buyer fact sheet. Look, look at that. Done. Done. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? It's so crazy. crazy. So, I mean, there's just so much content out there that you can use. So, I hope that helps. Hope you guys liked it. I appreciate you guys. Honored to be a part of your lives. And, uh, Vicki, thanks for being here as always. Oh, you're welcome. And uh, next Thank week, we've got a great class. Uh, we uh, truthfully have a great class next week set up in credit repair. We're going to show you what to look for when it comes to credit repair, how to help your buyers um, get to where they can qualify for a home if they can't right now, 
got a great friend of mine, Jim Hobo, is going to be on class with us next week, so uh, don't miss that class. It's just one more thing to put in your belt to when you do talk to somebody that's maybe a little nervous or not quite ready or thinking uh, need to do a little repair, he's going to come on and show us how to do it, and then uh, he actually does it for them if, if they want. So, but he shows us 100% how to do it themselves, and so it'll be a great class, and we'll see you same time, same place, right here on Agent Mastermind. Have a great day, everybody. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye-bye.